يا رجائي. Chapter on how the Prophet peace be upon him performed voluntary prayers during the day. Asim bin Tamra said, "We asked Ali about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him during the day. He said, 'You will not be able to do that.' We said, 'Whoever among us is able, he will.' So he said, 'When the sun appeared over there, east, like it appears here, west, at Asr, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him would pray two rak'ah. And when the sun appeared over there, east, like it appears here, west, at Dhuhr." He would pray four rak'ah, and he would pray four before Dhuhr and two after it, and four before Asr, separating between every two rak'ah with a taslim upon the angels that are close to Allah and those who follow them among the believers, and the Muslims. This hadith is graded Hasan, or good. Footnotes. One, the statement. When the sun appeared over there, east, like it appears here, west, at Asur, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, would pray two rak'ah. This means, when the sun was low above the eastern horizon. 2. And the statement, and when the sun appeared over there, east, like it appears here, west, at Dhuhr, he would pray four rak'ah. Meaning, when the sun was high above the eastern horizon before Dhuhr time. See, Tuhfat al Ahwaldi. 3. The statement, and 4 before Asur, separating between every two rak'ah with a taslim. This was discussed in hadith number 429, where part of it preceded. Comments This hadith tells us that the Prophet, peace be upon him, would make one final salutation after 4 rak'ah of Awabin and also after 4 rak'ah before Dhuhr and Asur prayers. He would make tashahud in the middle of four rak'ah, i.e. after two rak'ah. The Prophet would perform duha prayer after the sun had risen higher. He would do four rak'ah as soon as the sun declined from the meridian, and he would do a wabin prayer before the declining of the sun. Another chain from Ali, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, similar to number 598. This hadith is graded Hassan, or good. Comments. The most critical objection in this hadith is that so many number of rak'ah are not reported from any other companion, but this objection has no weight.